In celebration of Spindle Week starting today, I was wondering, how long would it actually take for one person to catch every single spindle pattern there is? In total, there are an astonishing 4,294,967,295 different patterns of spinda that are generated randomly every time you encounter one. With numbers like that, Vivian is put to shame. Now let's look at Spindle Week. Spindle Week is an annual event held from April 29th to May 6th, hosted by Waffle Pokemon, with the main goal of seeing how many shiny spinda the Pokemon community can obtain in a single week. If you want more information on the event, I'll have a link in the description. Anyway, let's now figure out how long it would take to find and catch every single spinda pattern imaginable. Let's start with comparing how long it takes to find spinda in each game. In Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, spinda has a 70% chance of appearing on Route 113, while in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, it was reduced to 60%, but 95% in Horde encounters. However, if we want to catch a spinda in a horde of 5, you first need to knock out the other 4, so hordes are not a viable option in catching spinda. In Sinnoh, spinda can be found at 40%, Kalos 20%, and Alola at 30%, so it looks like Hoenn is our best bet. In 3rd gen, spinda can be caught using a repeat ball at full health 100% of the time in about 34 seconds, so in 4 minutes and 42 seconds, going top speed you should be able to catch 7 spinda saving about 20 seconds every time you encounter another Pokemon by just running away from it. So in one hour, you should average about 88 Spinda caught. This is far better than Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, as it would take you 5 minutes and 19 seconds on average to catch only 6 Spinda, meaning in an hour you'll only have 67. With this in mind, we can now obtain 88 Spinda an hour, and assuming that we never see a duplicate Spinda, it will take someone 48,806,446 and a half hours, or just about 5,567.8 years. So if you start now, you would finish in October of the year 7590. Keep in mind this is without sleep, eating, or anything. Purely 88 spend an hour for 5,500 years. But hey, look at you. You're now the first person ever to obtain every single spinda pattern possible. Wait. What's that over there? No, wait. No, it can't be. No, ah! Now, alongside encountering 4.2 billion Spinda, you need to do it again, but shinier. Spinda's best odds of being found shiny would have to be in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Hordes, where on Route 113, it has a 95% Horde encounter rate. You would have 1 in 1,365 odds with the shiny charm, and could see one Horde in about 40 seconds meaning you'd be able to encounter 19 Spinda Hordes every 13 minutes and see 95 in that time window. This allows you to see 438 Spinda every hour, so on average you'd get one shiny Spinda every 3 hours and 7 minutes. Assuming we don't run into any duplicate forms again, this leaves us with a time of, drumroll please, 13,357,348,287 hours or 1.5 million years to catch every single form of Spinda shiny. If you add it to the amount of time to catch every single normal Spinda, you get the grand total to hunt every single Spinda form possible to 1,529,366 years of constant Spinda hunting, which is longer than humans have been on Earth, five times over. As ridiculous as this really is, it's a nice reminder that every single shiny spindle you find will be your unique shiny, with absolutely none out there in the world with the same pattern. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please dizzy punch that subscribe button. Also, I'm incredibly bad at math, and if I made any mistakes in the video, please correct me in the comments. So on that note, I'll see you next time.